campus on a very, very clear night where I could see the moon just shining like crazy. This is when that intuition kicks in. This is when I could calm down, listen to a voice, listen to my voice, or listen to something that is very relaxing, and I could dig deep. I'm talking about I could dig very, very deep within my soul and find out exactly what's trying to talk to me, what's trying to guide me, what's trying to emerge. See, that's what's going on. In any nasty, I'm talking about in any nasty situation, any situation, circumstances at all whatsoever, you always have to ask yourself, what is it that's trying to emerge in my life? Because after today and after probably the last couple of weeks, there have been a lot of red flags. See the breadcrumbs, the breadcrumbs, World War Z. What does the doctor say on the plane when he's going into, I guess, uh, you, you know, uh, what is it, patient zero? He says, you know what, the smallest things, the smallest things out there, they're like the breadcrumbs. And you'll never know. You'll never know until you actually sit down and ask yourself, what the hell, it, what is it that I missed today? The littlest things. And you know what? I normally see them much, much, much more faster now compared to the past. But you know what? Just because the beauty of seeing such crumbs, those are like guidance indicators. Those are my little angels saying, hey, you see these? You see what's happening here? Uh Uh-huh. You know exactly what's happening. This is like my intuition that's talking to me. Those are kind of like the breadcrumbs. It's like the intuition. If the intuition was talking to me right now, he'd be like, okay, you know what happened today? You know what's been happening in the last two weeks? You know exactly what's happening. Stop sugarcoating it. Face what isn't working. I learned that. I taught that in one of the principles in Jack Canfield's book, that which will be debuting on my podcast very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. But face what isn't working. You know Thailand isn't working. You know Thailand isn't working. But you're so comfortable with being unbelievably uncomfortable in a very, very heinous society. How come you don't go where you're appreciated and people love you and people smile at you? See, that's why when I went to Bali, I came back here, I literally almost packed all my bags and left. Just because I realized, ew, why am I still here? Why the hell am I still here? This makes no sense. And so that's what Bali gave me. And you know what? That was that little angel. The angel didn't have a greater voice as it does today on this night, on this November night. He didn't have that voice. But now I'm hearing it louder and louder. And especially after the events of today, it's kind of like, hey, here I am. What are you going to do? You know what? You know exactly what you're going to do. Get on it. Get on it immediately and give these people the be- the most beautiful news. And that's what's going to be coming real soon, people. That's what's going to be coming real soon. To be continue. Listen and develop that intuition. First develop it, then listen to it. Because with the intuition, you get those breadcrumbs. You get those little angels that end up having a small voice. And then the voice becomes louder and more, more unbearable to the point that you can't resist anymore. And say, God damn it, all right. I can't do it. Listen to that inner voice. If you guys don't know how to... Develop that intuition again. Stop asking your friends for opinions and advice. Listen to yourself. And of course, it's going to be trial and error. There's going to be a lot of things. Just like learning a language. There's going to be a lot of things that, well, you're going to fail at. But in that failure is always a great lesson. And with that great lesson, you'll always learn going from that point forward. Right? With that being said, people, that's my little vent for the evening. Like I said... You have to start listening. Like, have some quiet time. Like I said in Lisa Nichols' uh, podcast probably about a week ago. Have that quiet time. Listen to yourself. Listen to your breath. Listen to what's going on around you. And once you do, that's when everything begins to change. When you start listening to that voice, it's going to guide you. With that being said, people, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening. If you guys have any questions, at AJ in Thailand is my Twitter. And until then, have a wonderful, again, again, I'll say it again, I'll say it again. Have a wonderful morning.
afternoon, and evening, but I will say good night this time. This is your host, Arsenio, over and out.